consistency is our name as we're back for another episode of team building with jam i think i've been going two weeks straight well not straight but you know i think this may be the fifth one so we're going to be using sun today and those who've been pressing me knows why we're using sun so i want to shout out my boy aaron and my boy coltrane as they've been on it it's like day five <laughs> i should have never said what uh uh, my man uh, Dale set the precedent because he was like day seven of requesting Gujar team building video and then obviously I built with Gujar and so those two had a mission it's like okay say no more and so their consistency has paid off and because they were requesting Sandy Shock and uh, Scovale and rather than building two separate teams since they're mods one that aren't used too often though I think Sandy Shocks is better than people give it credit for I actually think that's going to raise in you rise in usage um, at some point it might be because of me depending on if i uh, you know, choose to just do a sandy shocks team but it's legit um and then scovalane is horrible well it's not horrible it's actually gotten better with all the bands i was actually scrolling through the tier like scovalane might not even need growth um it's it's not the strongest thing in the world but it's also not super weak either especially um, the sun boost from the fire move. I debated, debated whether I want to be a man about it and have fire blast, but we're going to run flamethrower here because you already know what's about to happen with that. And I was looking through the tier and I was like, you know, with the right conditions, met Scovalane can do some work. Uh, unboosted and then boosted is just a bloodbath, right? But a lot of the, um, the bulkier Terras, or just from a matchup standpoint, uh, mods have been banned, you know, Annihilate, uh, Annihilate, to you, um, what's his face? The Ice Mon uh, that just got banned. As far as like having priority, right? Because Covalane gets one shot by any priority. Just one of his biggest flaws. I guess I can't see Uber because I'm in the weeds here. But yeah, um, yeah. So Scovalane and Sandy Shocks. And so since I'm building around, this is going to be a slightly different style in the sense that. Because I put both these mons on the team, remember the first step is to determine the objective. So the objective is to build with these two mons on the team. Now this is closer to building around the mons, but at the same time, because the mons need certain field conditions to thrive, in this case sun, um, it forces the sun user. So these three cannot be altered. And these three pretty much always run the same set. Um, you know, you can feel frisky and run like a eruption torque hole, but in most cases that's not going to be good unless um, you're running trick room or something like that. And I could, you know, I could try to make trick room sun work. I don't know. Uh, but I want to get back into the groove of team building before I build wild trick room sun. Though I did make an insane trick room sun team back in, um, in Gen 6. Like just, I think that was Gen 6. Just an insane sun team. Uh, with, it's just insane but yeah uh, the objective is to use these and so because of that and because it's set I'll go through the sets really quickly uh, this shouldn't be a long video at all I'll go through the sets heat rock to it's actually really glad I looked at this heat rock and drought um, Torco is going to be rocking uh, stealth rock rapid spin and lava plume is likely going to be on every Torco set now I do have great tusk uh, but because it's sun and sun does not enjoy hazards, uh, I'm deciding, because let's say I doubled down on, uh, you know, great tusk and put rocks and spin, which would free up a move slot. The thing about Torkoal is that oftentimes it's not going to offer a lot of value. Uh, it doesn't have the best defensive typing versus the tier, right? If, if pure fire does have a few things that it comes in on, but it's not really doing that much. There's no... It's typing in and of itself isn't beating most things in the tier, even if it resists their stabs. And they're hella ground type user, ground move users, water move users, you know, rock move users in the tier. Well, I don't know if rock, but certainly ground and water. Um, even within the sun, for instance, in the case of water, turquoise and enjoying those. So rather than, um, you know, try to be fancy with the turquoise, you just make it do what it does best, which is simply get up the sun like that's the core thing for torque oil. um and if you can you want to reduce hazards so it's not taking 25 percent upon switching hence the support because if it was the only spinner then it would have to come in and it's weak to rocks and it's not 
really good. It's, it's not good at all for your hazard controller to be weak to hazards. Uh, it's not a good thing. So, secondly, hmm, I'm just like I was sitting here. I was like, ah, maybe I should have put. I could have made a case for Hatterene over Great Tusk here. Uh, it would do. It would mean I'd be weak to a lot more things. But um, I could see a case for Hat here. We're just gonna leave as is for now. Um, I actually debated just altering it a bit, but if in play, we'll alter it because it's been a while since we've had to alter any of the teams anyway. So um, what we're gonna do is just stay with it as is, and if as we're going through things, things need to be changed, then we'll we'll do the changes. So back to this Tusk. Uh, where, where were we? Oh yeah. Uh, so let's go back to Torkoal. I think we're just breaking down Torkoal now. Uh, since chlorophyll double speed and this benefits from being fire and grass, you know, I could make a case for solar beam here um, over Giga Drain. Uh, there are several things we could make a case for. I decided to try out Terra Blast Rock here. Uh, it does help me um, in, with Dragonite's E speed down the line. Uh, it helps me with Iron Moth coverage because ice is an option, but ice only helps with the dragons. Dragonite 9 times out of 10 is not going to stay a uh, flying type, and even if it does, uh, you know, with the multi scale that's going to likely be intact, it's not going to be ideal. So, Rock helps with Baxcalibur, even though Baxcalibur could get roasted by by um, Flamethrower. Um, Baxcalibur, it helps with Volcarona, it helps with Skeledurge, it helps with Iron Moth, and it's a disc, it's a stab technical hit versus things like Polt as well. Um, and Serilage, things that would typically shut down Scovelay. Now, most of those mods have, pri have priority or can take a hit, so you need some support before we get to the point where we're sweeping. But we'll break that down in the actual games. And so speaking of support, right, we determine the objective. Right? The objective is to use these two. And so in order to use these two, um, it's ideal for, well, to use Scovelay, you got to have Sun. Um, and so if, if I'm going to have Sun, why not use the Sandy Shock, who has the ability Protosynthesis, who benefits from Sun? Um, and Sandy Shocks is actually going to be a focus sash. It's not quote unquote suicide lead. Um, people assume, well, you know, if it's sash and it has hazards, then you just sack it on lead. No, every mod is used on a case by case basis, right? So if in that particular game you notice that that sash lead is not ideal, right? Or if it's not the best things that will get you to your outcome, you know, just mindlessly lead and sash. Let's say every mod on this team has heavy duty boots, then people will sometimes just lead spikes and just use all their hazards and it did nothing for them it affects one mod and it's like a great tusk right and so it's like what was the point of all that you just gave up a mod and sacrificed it for hazards for very little value in exchange so you want to be mindful of that uh so that's really the point of this so the spikes are there to support your boy um, um cold train here so aaron is supporting cold train with the spikes uh, spikes and, and Sandy Shocks again offensive typing is very good now another subtle little thing when you want to determine what, what guards against Sandy Shocks right grass types and pure drag well not dragons because they don't really switch in but in the tier the only thing that comfortably switches in is like a Tinglu or a grass type right uh, the grass type being Amoongus and even then Amoongus doesn't switch well into earth power right but you know Theoretically, you could say grass types or tinglu. Um, neither of those. Let's say they do have a grass type, and you spike up and you vol switch out into your boy Cold Train as the Amoongus tries to spore or Giga Drain, quad resist. Now that Amoongus is staring down Sandy Shocks, I mean staring down um, Scovelin, and Scovelin is just hungry, right? Or if it's in Tinglu's case, you might spike. Tinglu's a little more complicated, but it's also not very strong. So, you know, it's not offensively threatening, but it is a little more complicated of a, of a mod. Uh, you'd weaken Tinglu to the point where you can have your way, uh, like with Great Dusk. Tinglu is a subtle sort of weakening. People always aim to kill Tinglu in one hit. If they can't, then they do all kinds of things to try to take it out in one hit. It's like, why not take it out in four hits, right? As long as it doesn't impact your game plan, you must know what that is, right? 
uh, all the videos are down in the description uh, well, are on the channel for what you need to know the playlists are literally structured to make sure that you can get to the top um, with as, as little complexity as I can right now uh, now there are better videos coming soon um, and new playlists and whatnot but what we have now if what's there now has been getting people uh, to the top for years so it's sufficient so if you want to get better at actually playing then uh, check out the channel play literally there are only like four playlists one for getting good at the game one for team building which are these and one for you know uh, how to get over anxiety and manage your your um, emotional state as you're playing so everything you need so that said uh great tusk great tusk is there because why not right protosynthesis user once again um but it's also again secondary has a control because torkoal is unreliable right we could have opted for hatterene but there are a lot of physical mods that we would struggle with if great tusk wasn't there so hatterene you know you can hatterene doesn't really function as has a control unless you're just like just willing to throw it into things uh, there are some mods that it does very well versus like for example uh mixed chomp would be very annoying for my team but mixed chomp's annoying for any team like truly like any team in the current meta unless you have like terra fairy and garg uh mixed chomp played right will give you trouble um or tinglu but you know who uses tinglu <laughs> so yeah that's um so the supporting of the scovelane is going to be dependent upon um, the 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 spiking here and the volt switching for setting up scroll lane if you think about what controls hazards right and we're terror ground on this the reason for terror ground is i can contemplate things and fly like flying and such but uh, in the sun terror ground has a pretty solid shot to ko great tusk from fully average great tusk if it comes in on hazards like a spike or something then terror ground EP, ep would just one shot great tusk which would open up dragonite a bit um and it would likely remove whatever form of hazard control they'd have because uh, you know obviously great tusk in the sun also gets the proto proto something boost and um, proto synthesis is always, yeah and uh, that would obviously neutralize my dragonite's defense i mean attack my dragon dance uh without him having to do anything which is not good so yeah if you can lower and it also supports with cloud Zire, so cloud Zire getting bodied opens up um, Scovelane. Uh, there were some other things that the Terra, Terra EP in the sun. There's some other neutral hits like Volk, you know, takes like 70 something. Um, you know, changing your type, uh, you know, getting rid of the electric type makes you not, um, not weak to ground anymore. So that can help you versus Guard Chomp in some cases. Um, as I mentioned, Cloud Zire. Uh, again some other sort of niche KOs like like um, you know hat from certain ranges uh, I think there was one more I can't remember what it is it might have been Bax because uh, Bax is obviously very bulky I think it would kill Bax after rocks uh, but yeah so that's that's why we went Terra Ground uh, there are a couple other Terras but I figured take advantage of the, the boost and use the Terra to be offensive rather than like like a random defensive Terra like water or something or fairy uh, figured ground would be sufficient uh, well not sufficient most beneficial uh, Tusk is fairly standard um, the, the most common set probably bulk up knock spin uh, and then we wanted to do a secondary sweeper right because Tusk is there to support the first three um, and I saw that, okay, what secondary sweeper could function well on the team while allowing me to have at least one EQ immunity or ground immunity, right? So Rotom Wash is probably the most common ground switching in the tier as far as an immunity goes. So, you know, I didn't want to use Rotom Wash on Sun, even though it's, it's not like, oh, well, isn't that weak in your water move? Yes. Uh, but Rotom, most of the time, is not going to be clicking Hydro Pump. Uh, the purpose of Rotom is to guard against relevant sweepers and to Willow Wisp and Vol Switch pivot. Uh, if you feel like Rotom is going to have to need, he's going to need the Hydro, you'd have to not set up the sun. Um, or you could use it when the sun is wearing off because Rotom, between protecting Willow Wisping and Vol Switching, 
before you know it, the sun turns and we're out anyway. So, uh, yeah, more in practice um, and you'll see in the lives to come. If you're new to the channel, definitely hit the subscribe button as we wrap up this team builder. Uh, it's actually going longer than I expected. And so uh, right here, I was considering running standard D knight that doesn't have fire punch and runs roost. But um, because of the part of the ladder we are, it's very likely I'll run into Corbinites um, and potential air blue and gold angles, uh, which is really what Fire Punch hits. Right, Fire Punch can hit a few other things. It hits Amungus a little bit harder after Dragon Dance, which is not an irrelevant mon to hit. Uh, that's a very important mon, but it's primarily for Corviknight and um, gold angle with air balloons. Uh, yeah, I mean, Scizor can matter, but as I said, that's a less likely matchup to see than any of the others. Um, and there are not too many other reasons you're going to be using Fire Punch over Earthquake. Yeah. Yeah, most things you're just going to be Earthquaking because there's just, I guess, Toad Scroll <laughs> if somebody uses that, right? Um,. And so, because the team has a more offensive nature to it, I figured we'll play the game in a way knowing we have Fire Punch Dragonite to where we'll just go for broke, right? So we're going to play the game in a way knowing we don't have Roost as an option. Um, and I think in most cases it's going to be more frustrating because Sun, by its nature, is probably the most of offensive weather type because it, from a defensive standpoint, fire just isn't usually going to be switching in very easily on things so sun wants to overwhelm you as quickly as possible and because of that i don't foresee me uh trying to delay the games very long um even rain has a better job rain can be defensive if it chooses to but it's, it's still a very offensive style typically but sun is even more so because water is such a great defensive typing whereas fire is not and Pelipper gets healing moves, whereas Torkoal does not. So, just dawned on me that I think every has every weather setter is weak to rocks, except um, except sand and Hippata on Steed's our case. But sand's the worst weather now because there are no sand abusers. There's no drill. Uh, so I'm curious to see how sand gets um, once sand abusers come back, especially Terra with drill. Ooh, let's see. Uh, what's countering that guy? But yeah, so we uh, Dragonite's pretty much there for that standard D Knight. I like to run a lot of speed, so where I outspeed Cinderace after uh, plus one. I do that on the off chance I want to keep the multi scale, and I want to knock it out with EQ because extreme speed wouldn't, and even with Terra, extreme speed sometimes wouldn't if it's at full. Um, some people like to run a lot more HP, but um, I'm big on getting the KO versus trying to survive hits right so if i'm faster than you i'll just destroy you rather than well i'm bulky enough to take the hit how about i take no damage because you're you're knocked out you know uh so i build i tend to build in the the offensive uh if i can afford to now there are cases where this set could be no speed right and all the things but it's going to come more so from refining through actual play and then lastly, to give the team some defensive backbone, because if I kept it the structure that it was and added another offensive mod, again, because Sun and these first three pretty much are never going to switch into things for the most part, um, and neither is Dragonite, that would mean only Great Tusk will switch in to things. Yes, Torkoal is defensive, but if you actually look at the tier, you don't want to look at types and, and stats. You want to look at the actual tier. There's almost nothing in the tier Torkoal switches in on maybe King's Gambit um, and Miascarada it can but you know you don't want to lose your heat rock uh, it can switch into Scizor that's really it like it doesn't switch comfortably into anything and just beat it back so Torkoal's pretty much just Sun we're definitely never switching uh, Scovelade into anything and we're going to try our best to not switch Sandy Shocks into anything either um, from a like defensive standpoint like meaning we're going to stop the opponent from taking value with Sandy Shocks. It's probably not going to happen. So Great Tusk is likely going to be the only one. And because Dragonite doesn't have Roost, it's definitely not going to do that. So it's like, okay, well, what could cover up a lot of the glaring holes that would, 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 um, would be there? Glaring holes being, you know, since we have no Ghost Resist, we have no 
uh, dragon resist. Uh, we would have no good fairy resist. Sure, Torkoal, again, technically the fairy resist, but it's not taking um, Valiant Moonblast. I'm sorry. Um, what could help with Skeledurge and its annoying ways? What could help with um, Volcarona? Uh, what could help with Rain? All these things. And then Pex was just a slap mon. You just slap on there. Uh, that sponges all of those and uh, helps with all of those. So Toxapex made its way onto the team. Um, yeah, but especially Volk. Right? Volk would just eat us alive. Um, Pex typing and, and move sets and all the things. And so we're at Cobra Cloak uh, to help a bit with uh, Garganical. But Cobra Cloak actually has other uses, right? It allows you to not be nuzzleable. It allows you to not get special defense drops. Like, you know, somebody tries to crunch you or try to flinch you and all those things. You don't have to worry about any of that. So Cobra Cloak is beyond Garganical at this point. It's actually quite lethal. So that being said, that is the team for today. 21 minutes, not too shabby. So if you're excited to see the team in action, hit subscribe or hit the like button so that others uh, can find this video. And uh, yeah. I'm excited to, to use my first sun team. So, thanks for watching, guys, and peace.